Hi, I'm Deborah Mastic, and you're tuned into the Animal Innovation Show. Today's Animal Innovation Show is brought to you by SugarGlider.me is not only a great resource to use for information on these cute-faced, small stature creatures, but they have created some fun, engaging games that you can play to learn more about sugar gliders. Have fun taking the tests, doing the crossword, word searching, or figuring out all the puzzles. Either way, you'll be learning about all things sugar glider. Check them out today at www.sugarglider.me. Excellent introduction, Deborah. So you get to start off. Tell us who you are and how you're innovating and helping animals. I, you know, usually introduce myself as a pug mom. Um, Pork Chop is my pug, and when I met him 13 years ago, my whole life changed. Uh, and I just love pugs. I love p- pug people, and you know everything about them. But um, my innovation is called a fluff trough, and it is the most ergonomic, uh, innovative, and versatile pet feeding system on the market. And it was actually inspired by pork chop. As a pug, he has a flat face. As he got older and started to develop some more health issues, he uh, started to struggle to eat from regular pet bulls. And eating as a pug is like his favorite thing to do. So I thought (laughs) there has to be something better for him. And I started trying these different products that were supposedly designed for flat-faced dogs, but they just weren't working. So I came up with um, the fluff trough, and uh, this is what it it looks like. It is an open front elevated uh, feeding system. What makes this unique is the open front, um, so pets actually don't have to bend their neck down and squish their face inside of a bowl to eat. That makes it very difficult to breathe and eat at the same time and swallow food. So this has a patented open front design, which makes that easier. Um, And this helps promote better posture and digestion uh, because they get to keep their neck straight when they're eating. Other advantages this has is it has a a wider surface area than uh, traditional bowls. So you can spread Uh, pet food out more. So they're not taking big gulps of food when the pet food is actually spread out. It also has a higher back and higher sides. And this actually helps support uh, pets natural eating motion. So Hmm. pets kind of use their face like a shovel and they scoop food into their mouths. So with traditional bowls, when a pet is eating, that's why a lot of food goes on the floor because of the low sides of our traditional pet feeder. So this has higher sides. So the pet's actually scooping the food up and it falls back into their their mouth because of the higher back. What also makes it unique, it it, it has a flat back. Most bowls are round. And when your pet eats, it will slide along the floor. So if you just set this against a wall, um, it doesn't slide all over the place. The standard one comes with the FDA silicone insert, which is uh, both dishwasher and microwave safe. So As a pet parent, you can just prepare your pet's food on the counter in the silicone insert and then um, keep the base which of the fluff trough on the floor and just set the insert in the base when your pet is ready to eat. And we we offer um, three different inserts right now. So we have the FDA silicone insert. Um, We also have a, a stainless steel insert, which holds water and food. And we have a slow feeder insert, which we call the binge blocker. And that's for pets that are are at risk of choking. And then the other great thing is you can customize it. So you can put your pet's name on the side. You know, we make two sizes right now, the fluff trough and the fluff trough XL. Uh, But just so you can get it the right height for your pets, we also offer uh, lift kits in one um, inch increments. So you can make it the perfect height for your pet. I love the fact that you recognize that there's a problem and said, you know, you obviously probably did some searching yourself trying to find a solution. And then you said, you know what, I'm just going to buy a 3D printer and and figure this out on my own. Now I'm curious, how did you come up with the name Fluff Trough? That's something when you're starting this, it's so easy to get stuck on. And I'm like, I don't want to get stuck on the name. The name is important because you got to get the trademark and get that stuff going. But I'm like, I don't want to get stuck on it. So I'm just I was actually walking Porky one day, and if if you look at it, it's kind of like a pig trough, right? Um, It's got that open front, and a pug is kind of like a house pig, actually, (laughs) if you've you've ever lived with a a pug. But I'm like, okay, it's got to have the word trough in it, because that's kind of what the design looks like. 
And then I kind of thought fluff trough, it kind of made sense in my mind at the time because a lot of pets are fluffy. So that made sense in my mind. And some people get that name automatically. And some people are like, what the heck is that? Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's, it's stuck now and people like it and people actually kind of like the sillier name that they, they like to say, oh, my pet eats from a fluff trough. And others are like, what is that? <laughs> right. So now this has been, you've been picked up and you've been in all sorts of magazines and gotten all sorts of attention for this, haven't you? Yeah. So um, I'm really proud that um, last year the fluff trough was named uh, one of the top pet products of 2021. Um, it, uh, by um, Pet Business Magazine, and it was actually a uh, top pet product in the uh, dog bowl category. So I was really excited mm -hmm. about that. And we've been on the list for um, both top dog and cat gifts in Reader's Digest, Rachel Ray. Uh, we've been in USA Today, Modern Dog Magazine. Um, so it's really nice to, you know, get that recognition and see that other publications are, you know, seeing the usefulness of the design. So Deborah, where can, people, <laughs> where can people buy this? How can they, you know, tell them the website, maybe how to get a hold of you? Yeah, so um, if you just go to uh, flufftrough.com, that is our uh, website and uh, you can get the full um, product line of everything. So you would basically go on the site, figure out what size you want. We have a size guide, but if you're not sure, you know, you can email our customer service and then you can um, customize the bowl with your pet's name or their face, either one or both. And you get to pick out, you know, what color you want the, um, the design to be. And you get to pick out the font choice and stuff like that. And then, you know, I tell people that the, like pet parents' favorite thing is the insert. They're like, this has changed my life. This is so easy to feed my pet now. Um, so I tell people get extra inserts so you don't have to wash the same one over and over again. Um, and then, you know, order it and just enjoy your pet, you know, eating happier. It, it really makes a difference. And, um, you know, we're actually, if you check out our social media right now, there's a trend happening where dogs love their fluff trough so much that they actually sleep in it or sit in it. <laughs> Um, so we have so many fun pictures up of customers using the fluff trough in so many other ways, just because the pets associate such positive feelings with it. Well, Deborah, this is, this is amazing what you've done in just a short amount of time. And I really am glad that you, you know, you always, you said exactly what I always remind our viewers and listeners as I wrap up the show is it's, it's an idea, right? When you start paying attention to your animals and, and to the situations and to some of these challenges, that's all it takes is an idea for a new product, a new service, um, whatever it is. But if you've got an idea for something that's going to revolutionize uh, pets' lives, kind of like like you've done, we'd love to know about it. Just go to innovations.show and come on the show and talk to us about it so we can learn more. And don't forget to go to dubert.com and sign up to be a Duberteer. We always need more volunteer fosters and transporters uh, and people that are willing to help animals. So thank you so much, Deborah, for coming on. I really enjoyed this. And I'm really excited when you get into the toy category, what you're going to develop next. Thank you, Chris. It's been a pleasure.